I'm glad you've come to see these films. I'm glad for several reasons. First, because they enable us to see much more of what's happening in transport than we can see through our daily jobs. And second, because it enables me to say just a few words to all of you about our business, about the business that depends upon us and upon which we depend. Now, I'm talking to you at a time when the affairs of the British Transport Commission are undergoing reorganisation once more. I hope you won't let this disturb you too much because the changes which are being made should simplify and improve the management of the separate parts. And better management will mean better opportunities and more satisfying jobs for the staff. Now, the cameras have sought out many encouraging things to show us. And this is right, because a great many improvements are being made. British Railways, for example, are beginning to look modern. New equipment is visibly displacing the old. Services are getting better, but we still have a long way to go. These are times of rapid change, and to be modern and stay modern, we must be prepared to change rapidly ourselves. Re-equipment is not enough. We must change our thinking and our methods so that we can give customers the services that they want, of the quality which they expect, so that we can increase our own efficiency and so that we can improve conditions for our own staff. Then we shall give the railways a new future as a family business and railwomen will once again be glad and proud to have sons following their footsteps. Now I talk most, I tend to talk most about the railways uh, because they're the biggest part of our problem. But a great many interesting things are happening everywhere and the films will show you some of them. I hope you'll enjoy what you see.